So I always get asked, what are my favorite speed drills? Hey, I'm Carrie Foster with Foster Fast Pitch, and I'm here to tell you, I don't really do them. I know that's shocker because a lot of people want to gain speed and they want drills to gain speed. But what I have found in the 20 years of coaching is it sacrifices form and, and consistency. So I don't like doing them. There is a place for speed drills, but most often it's used for conditioning purposes, not necessarily speed purposes. Um, with this small exception of somebody that doesn't know how to go full speed or give effort, you can do them on a minimal basis just to try to get them to get out of their shell and try to start moving faster. Um, that would be the only way that I would start doing any kind of you know, speed drills, not, cons not looking at form or foundation. Um, the three things that I think that really give you speed, one is your foundation. Your foundation, I have developed a foundational system. I put in the academy. I teach it every single day. The link's below if you want it. It's a three-part series where we talk about arm ravel to release, sequencing, and we talk about leg drive power or ground force. Those three things is what gives you maximum amount of power. You've got to learn to generate power through the ground, generate it in, and get it to go through your body and release out through your hand. You've got to have good positioning and linear movements where the elbow is coming through, leading with a good snap, not just a release, a good snap at the end with internal rotation, and then you also have to make sure you're getting in a good loaded position that's going to set you up for really good leg power and good resistance. I've developed the whole program with drills, application, and also as a parent coach, how you can assess it, what to look for, and how you can coach your athlete. So that link's below. Um, on top of that, I think another thing that's important is strength, strength training. And it looks different for every age group. So as a young child, they really need to be able to do the basic things like sit-ups, push-ups, jumping jacks, jump rope. Jump rope is huge for athletes because it works their coordination. So as the, the, the students or the kids are getting older, especially between eight and 12, their coordination gets really off. And I'll see that their form gets really off because they don't know how to um, really balance and coordinate when they're growing so fast and their muscles haven't kept up with their growth. And so just creating a good, um, just strength foundation for them, that they're strong. Also incorporating them in some gymnastics or ballet. That is the two most important sports as a young athlete to continue to keep them strong and coordinated. Um, another thing to do with the strength training is getting them to balance, doing things on one foot. Can they balance? Can they balance with one foot on a, um, like a BOSU ball or some kind of unstable ground? Can they brush their teeth every night on one foot and brush it in the morning on the other foot? So you're really working anything with coordination and balance and strength training. And that looks very basic from eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. About 11 and 12, you can start incorporating some dumbbell things. You can start incorporating movements with PV PVC pipe. Um, if they're doing a squat, put a PVC pipe and let them start learning how to squat properly. These are all movements that they're gonna do every single day in life that they need to learn to do properly and lift things with their legs. Just functional movements. Um, you can also start incorporating at the age of like 13 or 14, maybe a strength trainer. You can also incorporate ballet classes and even still strength training classes. Just make sure that you're on a plan to get stronger as they age so that they can balance, they can stay coordinated, they can grab a hold of all the teachings and, and, and the innings and the games that they're, pi they're pitching. They have the strength to endure all of that. Um, and so having a foundation with the ground force, the loading, the arm whipping to release, the sequencing, the proper sequencing, and then adding in strength training and bounce and coordination and mobility, that's what brings power, sustainable power, great foundation, and confidence when they pitch. Taking a ball and going as fast as you can all the way around, leaning forward, slinging the pitch is not going to gain power. Again, if you need a kid that they just need to learn to move faster, get them stronger, get them more agile, teach them how to endure um, weight through movement, um, get them to throw a ball against a, against a wall. There's tons of things out there that you can do 
and start developing the athlete as an overall athlete, not just a pitcher. That's going to help with injury prevention. It's going to help with them gaining um, the pitch really quickly, learning it, and then being very successful. So again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe this video. All the information is below for the academy, for any kind of training, and I'll see you later.